Oh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the science behind which exercises truly increase testosterone levels. It's a common belief that squats are the ultimate testosterone booster. However, the question we're addressing today is whether this popular exercise has long-term effects on our testosterone levels, or if there are other exercises that can do a better job. In this journey of discovery, we'll be delving into a fascinating study published in the World Journal of Men's Health. We'll explore their research methodology, the factors they examined, and most importantly, their findings. This study throws new light on the relationship between exercise, body fat, and testosterone levels. While squats are often touted for boosting testosterone, we're going to explore whether they have long-term effects or if there's something more effective. So buckle up as we embark on this exciting exploration of exercise and testosterone. Squats are fantastic and they do spike testosterone levels, but these effects are usually short-lived. If you've ever felt that post-workout high after a set of squats, you've experienced this firsthand. But let's delve a little deeper into this. A study published in the World Journal of Men's Health took a broad look at how different types of exercise, including squats, impact testosterone levels. The participants were a diverse group with an average testosterone level of around 340 nanograms per deciliter and an average body mass index of 25, signifying a generally overweight demographic. The findings? Well, squats did contribute to a short-term boost in testosterone, but the lift wasn't permanent and levels often returned to baseline shortly after. So what does the scientific literature say about exercises that significantly boost testosterone in the long run? Before we dive deeper into the relationship between body fat and testosterone, let's take a moment to dispel a common myth. Many of us associate testosterone with men, envisioning rippling muscles and deep voices. But did you know that testosterone is not only found in men, but also in women? Yes, you heard right. Testosterone is an essential hormone for both genders. In women, although the levels are lower compared to men, testosterone plays a crucial role in maintaining bone health and regulating mood. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that women with lower levels of testosterone were more likely to experience mood disorders and decreased bone density, leading to conditions like osteoporosis. So regardless of gender, maintaining healthy testosterone levels is important. Stay tuned as we delve into a crucial factor affecting testosterone levels, body fat. The strongest correlation with testosterone levels was not the type of exercise, but the percentage of body fat, particularly abdominal fat. Now this might come as a surprise to many, it's not the squats, the deadlifts, or the bench presses that hold the key to our testosterone levels, but rather the fat that we carry around, especially in the abdominal region. When you consider the physiology behind it all, it begins to make sense. Testosterone is a hormone that thrives in lean muscular bodies. When body fat percentages increase, this can disrupt the balance of hormones in the body, leading to a decrease in testosterone levels. And it's not just about the presence of fat, it's also about where it's stored. Abdominal fat compared to fat stored in other parts of the body has a stronger influence on testosterone levels. So in essence, the leaner you are, the more likely you are to have higher testosterone levels. Higher body fat was linked to lower testosterone levels, making fat reduction a crucial factor. While all forms of exercise increased testosterone levels to some degree, resistance training showed noteworthy results. This form of strength training, which includes squats and leg presses, can lead to a significant increase in testosterone levels. In essence, resistance training involves exercises that make your muscles work against a weight or force, stimulating muscle growth and strength increase. The beauty of resistance training is that it can be tailored to fit your fitness level and goals, making it a versatile tool in your testosterone-boosting arsenal. Now let's look at some numbers. In a study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, the impacts of squats and leg presses on testosterone levels were compared. The results? Squats led to a 31 NGDL increase in testosterone, slightly higher than the 26.9 NGDL increase from leg presses. This suggests that incorporating squats into your resistance training routine could give your testosterone levels a bit more of a boost. Did you know that your testosterone levels are at their peak in the morning? That's right, according to the International Journal of Endocrinology, testosterone levels are highest in men during the morning hours. This might explain why you feel more energetic and ready to tackle the day first thing in the morning. So why not capitalize on this natural hormonal surge? 
Start your day with a resistance training workout or a cardio session. This could potentially maximize the benefits of your exercise routine by aligning it with your body's natural testosterone rhythm. Imagine kickstarting your day with a boost of energy from a morning workout, followed by the natural high of a testosterone surge. Plus, this could lead to more effective fat loss as you're working out at a time when your body is primed to burn fat and build muscle. So set that alarm clock a little earlier and get moving. Remember, it's not just about the type of exercise, but also about when you do it. The World Journal of Men's Health study highlighted that cardiorespiratory fitness was the only exercise type linked to long-term testosterone increases. So, what does this mean for you? It means that improving your cardiorespiratory fitness can lead to sustained increases in testosterone. Now let's talk about why this is. Cardiorespiratory fitness involves the body's ability to transport oxygen to the muscles during prolonged exercise. When we engage in cardiorespiratory activities like running, swimming, or cycling, we're not just improving our heart health but also working towards reducing body fat. A lower body fat percentage is directly linked to higher testosterone levels. When we lose fat, particularly abdominal fat, our bodies are better able to produce and maintain higher levels of testosterone. It's like a positive feedback loop. The more cardiorespiratory fitness we have, the lower our body fat, and the higher our testosterone levels. The key reason body fat reduction. Lower body fat consistently correlates with higher testosterone. So, it's not just about the exercise, it's about the body fat too. To boost testosterone, focus on exercises that reduce body fat and incorporate full body movements. This strategy can help you get the best of both worlds. Combining the testosterone boosting effects of resistance training with the fat burning benefits of cardio. Consider exercises that work multiple muscle groups at once. For instance, thrusters, a compound exercise that combines a squat with an overhead press, can be an excellent choice. This exercise engages your lower body, core, and upper body, maximizing muscle activation and consequently testosterone production. Similarly, squats combined with shoulder presses offer a fantastic two-for-one deal, hitting your legs, core, and shoulders in one fluid movement. These exercises not only increase testosterone but also burn a significant amount of calories, helping reduce body fat. High Intensity Interval Training, or HIIT, is another powerful tool in your arsenal. These workouts, which alternate between intense bursts of activity and short rest periods, increase testosterone while also improving cardiorespiratory fitness and burning fat. Combine strength training with cardio activities like thrusters, squats with shoulder presses, and high intensity interval training. In conclusion, while resistance training gives your testosterone a quick boost, long lasting effects are achieved through a reduction in body fat and improved cardiorespiratory fitness. The crux of our discussion is that combining strength and cardio exercises, maintaining a healthy body fat percentage, and enhancing our cardiorespiratory fitness is the way forward. Not just about one exercise or workout type, but the overall picture. A well-rounded routine that includes full body movements, strength training and cardio activities like squats with shoulder presses and high intensity interval training is your guide to elevated testosterone levels. So, don't solely rely on squats for a testosterone boost. Mix in various exercises and observe your testosterone levels climb. That's it for today's video on the science behind exercise and testosterone. I hope you found this information useful and enlightening. Now, it's your turn to take action. We want to hear from you. Share your experiences in the comment section below. Have you noticed any changes in your testosterone levels after incorporating these exercise routines? Furthermore, we invite you to join our growing community of health enthusiasts. We're continually sharing useful and healthy information that you don't want to miss out on. Remember, knowledge is power, and when it comes to your health, you can never know too much. And if you found value in this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest content. We've got loads more information on fitness, nutrition, and overall wellness coming your way. In closing, remember that your health is your wealth. Stay fit, stay healthy, and keep learning with us. Until next time, goodbye.